One of the most inspiring and exciting success stories in African football of recent is arguably the massive feat attained at the 2021 AFCON by the Scorpions of Gambia. Yes, uh, we are uh, well focused, well ready, uh, mentally and physically. And, uh, we are we are ready to face them, uh, to give them a, a tough challenge uh, uh, to pass to the group stage. Making their debut at the senior men's competition for the first time in almost seven decades, the Gambia brought joy and unity to the entire nation at a crucial time at the 33rd delayed 24 teams expanded AFCON. With a quarter-final ticket in their first try and playing against host nation Cameroon, it was a moment of history for the West African nation. It's good. Uh, everyone, actually, everyone wants to play, but everyone's also happy to be part of this historical moment for Gambian football. And uh, we have a competitive squad. We wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. And let, let me also say a short word. Naturally, we are, and I'm going to use it a little bit, we are the only English speaking country in this region. So I hope all the local people support the Gambia. Direction Yaoundé till the 6th of February. We are one team. That's why I'm preparing to accompany you to Yaoundé. <laughs> we, we, can, we have a space for you in our bus. You can drive with us all okay. over Cameroon to Yaoundé. Okay. It's here. I make it here with you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, guys. The Scorpions came to Cameroon as minors, but left as heroes, having been the surprise package of the competition. In this edition, we revisit the Gambian story, a story that should inspire the 10 CAF member associations who have never qualified for a senior men's competition. This is our plan always to stay and let them play and we avoid them so we can read their system, the style of play, play they are doing and it's really working for us. So we keep our working hard uh, game by game. Yeah, honestly, uh, as a country, they have been always there for us. The fans, the people, from the president to the last person, everybody is always giving their support, uh, their prayers uh, to the national team. And uh, as players, uh, we, we always assure them that uh, we're going to give our, our best maximum, uh, then we leave everything in the hands of God. Uh, the resource is always from God. But we are going to die for our country. Uh, we have to defend our colors um, as a team, uh, as a team, as a players. Um, we are ready to die for our country. No reason to doubt my players. So and we got the email from the club and uh, we have to accept that. Uh, we need fully fit players. And if a player is uh, physically not fit, then uh, we are always ready to cooperate. The Gambia paints their name in the history books of African soccer as the 44th nation and last from West Africa to qualify for the Total Energies AFCON on March 25, 2021. The Venomous Scorpions from the smiling coast of Africa had to dig deep before making the legendary trip to Cameroon after 69 years. Being the only West African side never to have reached the AFCON finals, the Gambia had to go through a tough group on paper with the big boys including Angola, DR Congo and Gabon. The debutants arrived Cameroon ranked by FIFA on 150th position, but their Cinderella run was a tale to frighten opponents. The West African nation are based in Limbe, in Fakot Division of the restive southwest region of Cameroon. On arrival, the newcomers are welcomed by the governor of the southwest region, Bena Okala Bilai, who wishes the team a beautiful tournament in the hospitable and friendly towns of Limbe and Boya. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Training under heavy military presence following the unrest in the English-speaking regions of Cameroon, the Scorpions braved the odds, sparking joyous celebrations at home as they earned a historic 1-0 victory over Mauritania 
in their opening game at the AFCON stage at the Limbe Obni Sports Stadium. This victory was celebrated by all in Banju and across the country with President Adama Baru and other political leaders leading the nationwide celebration. Credit will forever be given to Belgium-based winger Abi Jalu for scoring his country's first ever Afghan goal. The celebration was worth the waiting. The lowest ranked team in the competition scored a 90th minute penalty against Mali to draw 1-1 as the video assistant referee awarded two late penalties in their second game. Motivated by their massive inputs, the Gambians punished 2004 Africa Cup of Nations champions, the Kartesh Eagles of Tunisia 1-0 in extra time to stay true to the knockout stages. Their lion-killing tale continued as they achieved the unthinkable, silencing Guinea in their last 16 fixture to set up a crunch quarter-final meeting with Giants Cameroon. It was the same Guinea who had perturbed the Gambia in an 8-0 defeat in 1972 when they first tried to qualify for the Africa Cup of Nations at the time eight teams took part. Against Cameroon and playing in one of Africa's world-class football stadiums, the Japoma Obni Sports Stadium in Douala, the newcomers were outclassed in a 2-0 bashing by the indomitable Lions of Cameroon. It was the end of the journey for a group of Gambian legends who had inscribed their names in the history books. The Gambia's recent successes has been masterminded by the much-traveled Belgian coach Tom Fiet. The former Togo, Zimbabwe and Namibia boss took over the job on a short-term basis in June 2018. The outspoken tactician has transformed the Scorpions into a competitive team now fancying its chances with the continent's big boys. The Gambian humble, dedicated and hardworking story remains one of the most inspiring and exciting tales which only confirms the saying that modern-day soccer cannot be assessed.